Good evening from New York. This is, uh, I have some comments about uh, the uh, Harris and Trump debate. And uh, some things were very clear. So tonight, the Trump-Harris presidential debate, impressions from the inner mind communication point of view. Uh, so it seems uh, Trump lied in uh, this debate. He stirred up anger and fear with bizarre false accusations against immigrants. His statements about immigrants eating dogs and cats was called out immediately by those managing the debate. He talked about firing our brave generals, a dictator much. He lied about his uh, bad economic ideas <laughs> and was called out on it. He lied about crime. The, FD, the FBI was cited, which said crime was down. He said it was up. Kamala brought up his indictments. Kamala said he wants diverse source, she wants diverse sources of energy to keep us independent. Hmm? Trump said she was against defunding the police and then launched into an attack that she was. Uh, you know, <laughs> uh, not against defunding, but rather defending, uh, you know, uh, defunding the police, which is another lie. Uh, Trump lied about his handling of COVID, which was something he said before would just fade away. It might be treated with something like bleach. Trump claimed that those who stormed the People's House were mistreated and launched into attacks on new immigrants. Trump's own wife immigrated and was helped with a claim that was bizarre and about her being something like a genius. Trump tried to use the border situation. Um, said it was... Uh, as a somehow an excuse for their actions yeah yeah he tried to use the border situation as somehow an excuse for their actions uh, trump said again that he won an election he plainly and demonstrably lost you know you know i've seen situations you know where people were voting and they were counting the votes, and, you know, we had equal numbers of Republican and Democrats counting those votes. Oh, come on. And they recounted, you know, we know the story, right? Uh, yeah. He shouted through the debate, which sounds a bit defensive. Kamala was calm and measured and accurate with the facts. Trump said... None died in the attack on what he affectionately called the people's house, what we affectionately call the people's house. Kamala cited that many leaders around the world laugh about Trump, which we know is a fact. <clears throat> Trump attacked Joe Biden insultingly and claimed Joe hates Kamala. <laughs> really? Oh, I've never seen two people that loved each other more. Uh, but anyway, he is quite unhinged and, sh and showed in his constant angry shouting that he has next to, next to zero emotional intelligence. Inner mind communication philosophy is about communicating with creative, objective, and compassionate empathy from which we gain artfulness, truth, and goodness. Trump did not exhibit any of these traits. Trump said that Kamala hates Israel and Arabs. She hates them all. <laughs> Which is, of course, ridiculous. 
Trump kept saying he would use punishing tariffs and hateful fixes for almost every approach he has to every problem. This is completely opposed to what intermind communication philosophy and practice stand for, by the way. Trump's use of hate and fear to manipulate and get away with lying was strongly evident in the debate. Trump disagrees with numbers even from authorities on the economy and crime calling them fake and insulting our authorities, even the FBI, whose members fight crime sometimes in very dangerous situations. Oh, well, you know, call their troops losers. <clears throat> and McCain, you know, he wasn't a hero, not according to Trump, right? Anyway, going on, Kamala supports Ukraine and Trump doesn't want victory. He said he wanted a compromise with Russia. You know, she mentioned, you know, to, yeah, tell that to the polls. Anyway, Trump disagrees with numbers, uh, you know, and all the time. It's just amazing. I mean, Kamala, you know, you have to ask, he wants to compromise with Russia. Is he a coward? Uh, Trump sounded very un-American. He just did. Kamala said she supports NATO and honors it. Trump repeats that if NATO nations... Uh, you know, in the debate, uh, didn't pay more, he would let Russia invade them without any support from us. Really? Kamala didn't go against established facts, while Trump did constantly. Trump said leaders around the world were afraid of him. They were laughing at him. Trump criticized the withdrawal from Afghanistan. Okay. Race was mentioned, and Trump's comment about Kamala suddenly changed to, I, um, you know, his comment about Kamala suddenly, uh, according to him, uh, changing to identifying as black. Um Oh, right. Oh, she. Who 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 brings something like that up in the first place? And uh, she's never claimed anything other than who she is. And you know, come on, really? Um, I think he's a racist. You know. Hmm. The rental and housing discrimination in his business decisions, right? Yeah. Kamala brought that up. Yeah. Trump kept lying about the economy under him. Trump is certainly a bald-faced faced liar. A bold bald-faced liar. One must wonder how that doesn't disqualify him from being president. Kamala seemed to have plans that benefit the poor and middle class in housing. While Trump's statements were often lies, we know from what he has done before that he is more for benefiting the super wealthy. Trump clearly has no plan for health care, and says he would not get rid of affordable, the Affordable Care Act unless he were to have a better one, a better plan. Even though, as Kamala stated, he had tried mightily to get rid of it without having another plan at all when he was in office. Kamala mentions work to cap prices on medicines and says health care should be a right and not just a privilege for the wealthy. And, you know, 
that shouldn't just be a, a footnote about this debate. That is a core issue. You know, people get wiped out and little businesses get wiped out because of health concerns. That should not occur. You know what I'm saying? Hear me. Kamala brought up global climate change and, uh, and uh, you know, mentioned that we need to grow a cleaner energy uh, um, approach. Trump says Joe Biden sold out our country to China, which, of course, is absurd. Trump seemed to want to change who he was debating with to Joe Biden. Kamala reminded him he was not Joe Biden. She was, you know, she was not Joe Biden. Um, Kamala said she was about investing in the middle class and in help for the elderly and the poor. Trump claimed our nation is a failing nation. Wow. <laughs> and then, and and yet he thinks everybody's clamoring to 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 come to our country, you know. But it's it's a failing nation. <laughs> it's like, God. what? Again and again, he lies about immigrants being criminal. Yeah, he ended his statements with that bizarre, hateful comment. Kamala was on the offense and lured Trump into revealing just who he was. Kamala was the clear winner of this debate. Uh, comments are welcome. Um, be polite. Yeah. Don't act like Trump. You know. Be polite. And uh, give your opinions. Um... um other uh, team members will, at least one other, <laughs> will try to uh, uh, make a presentation this coming Friday on uh, with a Zoom recording um, about this debate and uh, perhaps other things. So, thanks for listening. And uh, like I say, please... Please, if you like, you know, the content, uh, please subscribe and, uh, and, uh, understand that, uh, and, and also share the videos that you like and, and, uh, additionally, um, make comments, you know, we do look at the comments, uh, we do. And, uh, and again, this channel's not about me. You've seen my face a lot of times because people are very busy and, and I seem to have a lot more time. Um, but we're trying to fix that. You know, the uh, channel is about greater empathy and awareness in our communications both inside ourselves and with each other and how we go about that you know uh, our, our members may disagree um but i think in general it's just a really good idea <laughs> and, uh, uh, so if you interested in healing uh minds and healing nations and the world this is a good place to be um, and uh, we hope wherever you are in the world that you will not consider this just a channel for the united states it's uh, for the whole world and, uh, hopefully you know bring your talents bring your your the languages that you speak um, your insights and all, uh, and we will try to have you on Zoom calls so that, you know, your voice is actually heard. Um, this is, uh, again, not a, a one-man show, although it appears to be sometimes. Um, 
Yeah. Join the love revolution. And until uh, next time, um, speak love to yourself and to others. And vote wherever you are, whatever country you're in. If you can vote, please cast your votes. Democracy is the only um, system where human rights are very important, you know, highly regarded and uh, not trampled on as, as much. Anyway. Until next time.